Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill into law this week recognizing one of the most violent events in U.S. political history, the Okoe Massacre. The massacre is a permanent scar in Florida's history when a mob of white people attacked and killed blacks in the city of Okoe on Election Day in 1920. Now, nearly 100 years later, this law will ensure that horrible day is not forgotten. News 6's Jerry Askin spoke with the state senator behind the bill who spoke today in Okoe. Here's a marker honoring African Americans who once called Okoe home and the many who were killed. It's also where a lawmaker returned today to show the state is getting results and teaching people about the Okoe massacre. And I'm so glad that Julius July Perry is a rich part of who I am. I met Sharon McWhite in Okoe today at a marker that pays tribute to so many lives lost during the Okoe massacre. And it reads, an honor and memory of the African Americans who called Okoe their home. Among those killed was her great uncle, Julius July Perry. Not only did he lose his life, we as family members have suffered for a long time in silence. Perry was lynched and killed by a white mob back in November of 1920, and more than 50 black men were shot and killed. Those men were simply trying to exercise the right to vote. The fight is not over. The fight has just begun. Black lives matter. We're not going anywhere, sir. And now, 100 years later, she joined Senator Randolph Bracey today as he announced the passing of his bill that he says would better share the story and the history of the Okoe massacre. It'll be taught in schools now. Um, it'll be memorialized where there will be facilities named after victims of the Okoe massacre. All happening as they're also pushing now more than ever about the importance of voting. This is the time for people to be engaged more than ever. It is really important that everybody exercise their right to vote. The city of Okoe back in 2018 acknowledged the events and signed a proclamation ensuring these acts will never happen again. Senator Bracey saying it's just the first step in better recognizing black history across Florida. Here in Okoe, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.